April 9. Keep spending is the cheerful cry of the proprietor of the Great Stone Nursery, a bright bungalow at the sea's edge, hugged by herbaceous borders. With a sign at the entrance, say it with the flowers, Valentine's Day, February 14. He stands smiling at the doorstep, dark blue fisherman's jersey and yachting hat with a fine gold earring. He retired here years ago from the studios, said he preferred the light here as he didn't have to shift it about. He runs his nursery, which is the best value for money, like a London market barrow, throwing in a Santolina or a lavender, like an extra potato or cabbage. Adding, you don't need the change, do you? And how's the wife? Looking at the smallest sedum, he announced, that'll cost you. The sales take place in front of the house between ranks of gnomes, woodpeckers, blushing maidens and frogs. Behind them, in the porch, are shelves of Chinese porcelain, painted with dragons and chrysanthemums, teapots in the shape of elephants, vases and caddies jostle for space. Through the net curtains, elaborate gilded temple guardians and incense burners, trees of semi-precious stones, Mysterious gods and goddesses, dimly glimpsed. Today I left the Shangri-La with half a dozen lavender and a large sack of potting compost with plenty of change from a ten-pound note.